Something just went GA within Azure. Can you guess what it is? Ah, I'm going to spill the beans. Advanced notifications for maintenance against our SQL managed instance on today's Tales from the Field. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Welcome to the Tales from the Field channel, my friends. If this is your first time finding us, give us a like and hit that subscribe. We on Tales from the Field drop content on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, we have this wonderful thing we call the Roundtable, where we share blogs, links, posts put together by you, the Azure Data Community, for the Azure Data Community. And on Mondays and Wednesdays, we share this thing we like to call MS Tech Bits. You're watching one of those now. Let's get over to it. One of the features I like about Managed Instance is this Maintenance and Update tab here we have. We are allowed to define a maintenance window based off one of these three schedule that fits within our environment. But wouldn't it be cool if we could know in advance when Microsoft is going to do maintenance during one of these windows? Well, guess what? Yoros Milanovic just wrote this excellent blog sharing with us that Advanced notifications are in GA for Azure SQL Managed Instance. This means we can now use advanced notifications for our production system, folks. This will allow us to be notified ahead of time when maintenance is going to be done for our scheduled maintenance windows, allowing us to create some pre and post scripts. For example, if you're using failover groups, maybe you create a prescript that's going to fail over that failover group and your application can start using your other managed instance. If you're not using failover groups or something like that, you could use your prescripts to shut down your application if it's a touchy application and it needs the backend database to operate successfully. And then when we're done with the maintenance, you can bring that application back online with your postscripts whole bunch of different scenarios we can do there with this one-two punch of providing a maintenance schedule and then advanced notification. What notifications will we receive? Well, you can see here on the screen, you're going to receive planned, in progress, and complete. Planned is going to tell us ahead of time when we're going to have our maintenance done to our Azure SQL Managed Instance 24 hours ahead of time. All right, how do we set up an alert? We're going to go over to our managed instance under our maintenance and update and hit set up alerts. It's going to take us over to our service health. Now we've set one of these up in detail in a previous video. So I recommend if you want to get into the details of each step, go review that. But here we're going to review the alert that I've already set up ahead of time. So I could capture one of these maintenance events so we could see what it looks like. So we'll select on the service health alert here, and then we're gonna go to edit. Once we're in edit, we're gonna see our edit alert rule. Underneath scope, it's gonna be our subscription. Then for condition here, I've chosen two services, SQL database and Azure SQL managed instance. I wanna receive advanced notifications of when the maintenance will take place within our maintenance window. Then you're going to select the region that is most appropriate for your environment. And for the event type, I'm gonna choose plan maintenance here. I'm setting this up, alert up, so we can get advanced notifications. Next, we wanna look at actions. And this is where the rubber really hits the road or meets the road, shall we say. I'm gonna give it a display name. I'm gonna call it maintenance. And you can see on the screen, I'm sending an email here to an email group, to all my key stakeholders that need to know about this outage window. All right, but here is the cool part. We could take an action type. We could run an automation run book, or we could have a webhook that can do certain things like our prescripts and our postscripts. So really cool there. Next thing we're gonna do is go to details. With our details, we'll fill in some information here. And then we're going to go to review and save. Once we're done with that, we would save that. I'm not going to save it because it was already completed. So I'm going to X out there. It's going to take us back here to our alert screen. Next thing we want to do, though, is look at the alert. Now, 
I've already had these alerts in place so I could track this, so I could show what it looks like here in our health history. We're going to select the one second here on the screen, and it's going to provide us some information. If we zoom in here, you're going to see that it's going to give us a summary of the actions that are going to take place. And in the this case, our advanced notification is going to be doing some maintenance to our Azure SQL Managed instance. We can look at the impacted services and the issue updates, and you're going to see three updates there. You're going to see the notification that it's going to happen. You're going to see when it's happening and that it completed. And on the screen here, I wanted to show an email. This is the email that I received that tells me when the plan maintenance for my Azure SQL Manage instance is going to take place, my advanced notification. Then I'm going to get an email when my maintenance is in progress. And the final email we're going to get is during our plan maintenance notification that it is complete, that our schedule maintenance is complete. You could also do this programmatically here through PowerShell. The link of how to do this is going to be in the description of the video. So don't worry about uh, copying that script there on the screen. I'll provide that for you in the link. All right, Yoris Milanovic, thank you so much for sharing this out. I wouldn't have known that advanced notifications went GA. This is really huge for a lot of my customers as it gives us that opportunity, that one-two punch, shall I say, of setting up our maintenance schedule and then notifying us so that we can share with our key stakeholders that our Azure SQL Managed instance is going to have maintenance done to it, allowing us to do some pre and post scripts. Hey, you know where we like to keep this going in the comments down below. Let us know what you think about maintenance schedules. Let us know what you think about the advanced notifications. Is 24 hours enough for you? And as always, be good to each other. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought.